So this is my self-fertilizing pile, which in this case is used to grow patty pans, giant pumpkin and edible pumpkins. The idea behind this pile is that first you start with a pile of soil and in the middle of this pile you make an indentation like this and then you fill this indentation or even over it with fresh green cuttings, preferably from your lawn mover, which are basically cut and uh, basically grind it. Uh, so this means that they will start decomposing right away. And then again at the top of those green cuttings you also make an indentation like this uh, because in this case you'll be forcing rainwater and also water from your watering of those plants or this pile uh, to flow through those decomposing green cuttings and of course when they are decomposing they release the nutrients and then those nutrients, nutrients get washed down into the soil and to the root systems of those plants. This giant pumpkin does not look the best but it was already in very bad shape when I got it and now it is recovering and I see that it is starting new leaves so it should be okay. Uh, in this case I have also added some hay uh, simply because it was available to me because uh, I was cutting uh, a little bit of a grass there and I had this um, and in this case you see that I have put a stone on it and again this is uh, for the same reason as I told you before this stone is actually making this shape uh, and it is keeping grass in this shape and this again forces the water to flow through this pile and into the soil and again this um, hay here is also very good because it is protecting my uh, soil here uh, from uh, let's say getting overgrown with weeds and as you can see there are some weeds but not a lot and also uh, from direct sunlight so basically it is also keeping water inside my pile and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start removing those layers you'll be able to see this and we shall see if this theory which I just told you is working so let's start let's open this pile here okay so first we have this stone you can see that basically it is making this shape, which is neat, so let's start with opening this. We have a layer of hay, and you can see already that this hay is already decomposing. So you see, even the hay is decomposing, and this is getting washed down. So basically already here we are getting nutrients which are going down into the pile. Let's open it a little bit more. Okay, so this is the wet layer. And here... You can see mold and also some ants who started uh, their nest here. But still we are getting water penetration into uh, our pile. And let's try to get to those fresh green cuttings. Uh, they're much lower and everything is wet here, which is great. Okay. Even more mold. And what we have here below are already our fresh green cuttings which you can see are totally decomposing so this is a perfect manure and what we also have here is a totally wet soil uh, see green cuttings this actually looks great this is basically the bottom of my intention as you can see this is totally decomposing and releasing nutrients into my pile for example if i try to squeeze this you see it's running out, it's full of water, it's decomposing and these decom those decomposing Greek cuttings and hay are basically feeding my pile. So I will close it up now and let it produce its magic and produce some pumpkins and petty pans for me. It is working great. Okay. Now again, we have to create that chip. So the stone will be forcing the hay into this shape. And this means when the rain water falls here, instead of running off this pile, it will be forced to go through this pile and wash nutrients inside. Oh.
It has been exactly one month and one day since I have created this self-fertilizing pile and as you can see, my pumpkins and petty pants are growing like crazy. This is my first edible pumpkin and it has actually developed two branches, not just one. Uh, the other one is coming across the pile. Uh, my giant pumpkin here, which is basically half that, is now growing uh, really well. You have this long stem here, which of course is going to get much longer. My petty pen here is, I guess, approximately one week away from uh, producing first petty pens. And I have another petty pen over there, which is also growing great. You can see that all plants are of this great green color, very healthy. And what is happening here is now that they have developed root systems, which are going into the pile, they are basically feasting on all those nutrients which are getting washed down through those decomposing, through these decomposing grass and green cuttings.